clashes have broken out between radical Islamists and police following a government ban on Ansar al-Sharia's annual Congress rally. The rally was to take place in Tunisia's central city of Karon, and upon its cancellation, the group's supporters gathered and threw stones at police in protest. Police responded with tear gas. We're here to stop their behavior. We're ready to stay for a month if need be. There is no other way than respecting the law. The clashes left three protesters and 11 officers wounded, and one young Tunisian died. The Salafist Islamist group openly supports al-Qaeda and is considered to be one of the most radical groups in Tunisia. And Sar al-Sharia represents an extremely conservative brand of Sunni Islam and does not see eye to eye with the authority of the state. They insisted they would hold the third annual meeting regardless of the ban and posted on their Facebook page that followers are to gather in large numbers. Are you afraid? I am afraid. I am afraid. I am afraid. Why? Why? Почему? Почему? Ah, boy, thank you. And Sar al Sharia has been blamed for a wave of violence across the country, including an attack on the U.S. Embassy in September in the Libyan city of Benghazi that left four U.S. Embassy staff dead. The group's fugitive leader, Saif Allah Ben Hussein, a former al Qaeda fighter in Afghanistan, gave warning he would wage war against the government, accusing it of pursuing policies against Islam. Ben Hussein, who goes by the name of Abu Iyad, was jailed under the Tunisian president Ben Ali, but freed after the Arab Spring uprising.